I got some huge news to share about the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and that's coming up right after this if you new here won't stay up to date subscribe followed by the bow you can also keep up on Facebook Instagram and Twitter by clicking the links in the description so another week is gone by and again with more leaks on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 we had news of just how powerful the smartphone is can it be Wilson case leaks and the big design changes that may please many fans before get into it though please like the video if you're a fan of the Galaxy Note series let me know in the comments what version of the know you're waiting for and if not then what phone are you planning on buying the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is coming soon it will of course be coming into variants we had many rooms suggesting that the Galaxy Note 20 on the Note 20 Ultra to be loans on 5 June and this does appear to be true as South Korea publication has also reported this something a holding an online Samsung impact event this is to launch both Galaxy Note alongside the phone to the flip and the watch report states that the loan skin to be on 5 August the release date of the Galaxy Note 20 and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra good to be on 20 August so next up with what protective case leaks for the Galaxy Note 20 which food in line with one of the other leaks we've received we can see that this case is in a very note like shape for the rectangular camera module in the back if we take a look at the signs you can see they are very raised which means we will have a flat display many were hoping for a flat display on the Galaxy Note 20 it's also been confirmed by Ice Universe who tweeted to say the same many have been confusing thinking at the Galaxy Note 20 Okra is also going to have a flat screen this unfortunately is untrue the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is can have a cup display is can be the same as shown in this render toe for curved screen isn't for you then the standard Note 21 finally report news of just how powerful the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is going to be we have plenty of news on the 5 nanometers Christmas 992 and unfortunately we still waiting to hear if that is can be included in the Note phone off for those of you in the Snapdragon regions at the new info good news many were claiming that there's no Snapdragon 865 plus this year is those people were wrong we seen a few mentions of it now we now have a benchmark results some impressive schools as we can be pretty certain that the Galaxy Note 20 will have the Snapdragon 8 65 plus the benchmark is a beta on 22 benchmark one it's not from the galaxy note 20 it is of course the same chip said the snapdragon 865 classical and overall score of 667,253. if we break this down it was 185k for the cpu 283k for the gpu 112k for memory and 87k for ux to put this into perspective the snapdragon 865 scored around 600 4,000 in a decent performing phone so this is just over 60. Already had candidates for the Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra they've been used to create stunning 3D renders it's working to go through it so for my regular view as you guys have seen this already to simply skip to the next video if you new had then don't forget to subscribe everything get right into it the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is coming with a 6.7 inch AMOLED display with the Poncho Sophie camera tops and time while many were hoping for the Interspace selfie camera it's not going to happen and it's most likely can it be for the S range the dimensions come in and 161.8 by 75.3 by 8.5 millimeters which makes the Note 21 millimeters thicker than its predecessor significantly larger Alvaro one thing that you may have already noticed is a flat display on the Note 20 I'm assuming this is can please a lot of you when my most complained about features in the comments is of course the cup display can see the on the Note 20 record the volume and the home buttons on the right hand side using the left side completely clear we take a look underneath record USB type C port microphone a speaker grow and the S pen at the far left the same trays now located at the top of the Galaxy Note 20 on the re-record rectangular camera modules similar to the S ranges 38.1 mm long by 21.9 wide Samson reportedly still working on these cameras so we don't have any confirmation on what they can it be it's expected it will contain neither the one or the GN1 from Samsung we can of course see that we've got three lenses on the left with the periscope lens on the right underneath the LED flash you can see the back panel is curved on both edges with a slight comes in all corners and overall looks like a comfortable device to hold still a very premium smartphone next up because my favorite which is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus these renders were provided by Pictalan on leaks we have most of the details of this still some
Unconfirmed information The Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Plus is coming with the largest 6.9-inch curved AMOLED display recorder poncho camera top center You have plenty of display from Ross Young We have since deleted the tweet since we can only issue is an issue always been asked to remove them We're expecting and LTPR display but again with the poncho Sophie camera as in display camera is just ready at the Note 20 Plus dimensions come in at 165 by 77.2 by 7 7.6 mm with the trim down bezels it is pretty much full screen the volume and power buttons on the right hand side with the left completely smooth the bottom now is the same as the Note 20 with the S Pen at the far left for the by speaker USB port and microphone on the rear we got another rectangular camera housing we can see it is a little bit different from the smaller Note 20 have to say I much prefer this one looks a little bulky with bigger lenses actually really like these camera rings and I think it adds to the premium look the device go to cameras on the left which reportedly could be the something h one in the G and one with the periscope lens underneath over on the right hand side see a true depth camera and underneath the LED flash again the edges account on the back and overruled it looks like it can be a great device we still haven't had any details on the pricing and probably won't until close to the launch towards the end of the year is can be interesting to see why they price it the note line is always the most premium of the range one apart from the newly added followed the S range with price relatively high that sold less than expected it's so this could affect the pricing on the Note. One thing we do know though is that with the Note we'll get improved display tree camera and general hardware and of course we don't have much longer until it's going to be released now in a run through all of the specs of the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Note 20 plus of my regular viewers you guys have already seen it so I suggest you switch off now if you knew had the nerve to get to hit subscribe and We'll get right into it of course is something Galaxy Note 20 is going to be an incredible smartphone actually one of my favorite releases this year will likely see improved design display camera symbol for anyone who's missed my previous videos to quickly run through what we can expect from my regular viewers you would have already seen this so just switch off now if anyone knew him can run through everything we know so far about the Samsung Galaxy Note 24 the Note was always much bigger than the S range in the past things have been changing lately to be interesting to see what screen sizes we get with the Galaxy Note 20 last year we had the Note in two sizes which was 6.3 and in 6.8 inch displays we then have a light model come later with a 6.7 inch display given that the S range has massively increased in size with a 6.9 inch display now coming under the Estimate that we can see a Galaxy Note 20 with at least a 7-inch display of course more often sizes are generally getting larger so public sizes are going to rise to given the success of last year's notes also can predict we'll be getting a Galaxy Note 21 with the Galaxy Note 20 plus we haven't had any solid leaks or information when it comes to displays run to predict a 6.5-inch display on the Galaxy Note 27-inch display on the Galaxy Note 20 plus I'm expecting both models to be 14 14 by 3200 resolution and that will be a 120 has dynamic AMOLED display windowed out in the C and in display fingerprints along with Gorilla Classics for protection when it comes to the Sophie camera the Note line actually led the innovation for Samsung last year it can be interesting to see whether they stick with the poncho camera top center of the Galaxy Note 20 comes with the new design will together many a curious with the in-display cameras that can be available for consumers one Samsung have this technology ready my guess it would be introducing it on the Note line but unfortunately the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is probably a little bit too early for this tack is likely can be something we see in 2021 when it comes to the rear of the Samsung Galaxy Note 11 oh the Galaxy Note 20 is it may be cooled about no doubt that we can see a rectangular camera housing Samsung have stuck with this across the mid-range in that flagship this year so the Note 20 should be no different Samsung have also been getting a lot more adventurous with the cameras so you can predict we'll get a 108 megapixel ISA cell sensor with pixel bending technology We'll get a periscope lens with some incredible zoom capabilities get an ultra wide angle for this is why Charles will also get a 3D time of flight that sensor will soon no doubt see Betsy camera senses on the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 plus compared to the standard Note 20 in the hardware department we know the Galaxy Note 20 it can be powered by the Snapdragon 865 in North America and the Axonal Sign 90 globally we see up to 512 gigs of internal storage with up to 60 
16 gigabytes of RAM and will of course be expandable with the microSD card given the larger size the Galaxy Note 20 Plus is expected to have a battery capacity of 5200 mAh for the Galaxy Note 20 is can be around 4300 of course both Galaxy Note 20 can be running Android 10 in the form of one UI to it will be IP60 able to resist and the Galaxy Note 20 is expected to come with stereo speakers and no 3 and one half no headphone jack and most importantly for Note fans it will be coming with the much left as pendant using Bluetooth 5 we haven't had any leaks on the upcoming S Pen but it's no doubt can be more refined with new hardware and software features the Galaxy Note 20 is said to be an incredible device and judging by recent years we can expect the Galaxy Note 20 to launch at the start of August 2020 release towards the end of the month when it comes to pricing it will of course be an expensive device prices are expected start at about $1100 1200 for the standard Note 20 around $1400 1500 for the Galaxy Note 20 Plus will Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as it may also be cooled given the success of this is light models it's also likely that will get us something Galaxy Note 20 Lite released further down the line is a great time to be a Samsung fan with so many phones being released by the company to huge selection in a range of the premium asked on the Note line on top of the Galaxy folder in the Galaxy is that flip phone no have to say it is that flip phone is the only one that doesn't really excite me this is because I see it is a little bit unnecessary it's sort of trying to solve a problem that isn't really there in the first place and being overcomplicated for very little reason of course that's just my opinion though and I'm sure it will be a successful phone being priced much lower than the fold of co alters all the information estimates we have today but as soon as any solid information comes to light I'll be sharing with you guys straight away but just wanted to give you my estimations along with the stunning renders that concept artists have already put together as always though I'd like to know your guys thoughts and the comments there's waiting for something Galaxy Note 20 you waiting for the Galaxy Note 20 or oh, the Note 20 Ultra and do you prefer a flat screen or a curved edge but please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.